I was not going to stay in New York, actually. I remember very clearly um, in the March before the Gotham class year, um, sort of saying, I'm done, I'm done with New York, I'm done with L'Oreal, I need to get out of here. Before entering into Gotham, I really had a very, I would say a very narrow idea of what faith and work really meant. I really felt like those were separate things and not necessarily integrated in any way. And when I did think about faith going into work, it was always like, I should do pro bono branding projects or I should try to give more financially. I knew all work was important um, and I knew it was there, I just didn't have anything, any context for why. One of the things I've always wondered about slash struggled with in New York is this duality in which we exist as uh, professionals. So trying, trying to bring those two extremes into a mid-ground is I think what the Gotham experience has allowed me to do a little bit better. I think I was quite worried about the time commitment and not wanting to say yes to anything and, and then doing it like 80%. Um, that was my worry. So if, I, if you're going, you, you're all in. If you're not, you're not. I think for me, the, the, a huge change was just from before Gotham to after was this understanding of how important prayer is and how important like actual time, and especially in a place like New York City, setting time aside for God versus just like, oh, I'll you know, kind of pray on the train or as I walk into work. And my self-worth is highly rooted in the performance that I have at work. And I was set free. I have, I really have to say that the Lord has given me a lot of freedom in changing my paradigm through Gotham. For the first time, it isn't just a story. It really is, He loves me. And why do I know that? Because He died for me. And why do I know that? Because I was so not worthy of it. And so in that sense, it's a game changer. <laughs> so now I can look at brokenness outside of me because I've dealt with the brokenness within me with a lot more compassion and with a lot more grace and mercy than I ever did. For me, as a performing artist, what happens is I spend most of my time around theatrical individuals being pulled out of that and set into a space where you have business people and lawyers and financial folk and uh, people in the medical industry. Their approach to life and to their world is colored by their vocation. I can't think of another point in my life in which I'd have this opportunity because in so doing you are really forming great relationships as you like forge your way ahead and you're creating for yourself quite honestly, the, a strong network of people who can encourage you and that you can encourage and who can build you up and that you can sort of traverse this world together. Because I can read these books on my own, but what I was going to get out of it would really be vastly different. So to have that kind of guidance and a community to work out those issues and thoughts with was amazing. If I believe the gospel to be true and Christ is who he says he is, then that has to fundamentally rearrange the mental furniture up here. And having that really called out and put it into some detail and some color into it was like, okay, what we do matters. I really thought it would require a lot longer for me to see the results or see the impact of Gotham. But it was, at least in my, in my case, it was extremely immediate. But looking back, I can see God's hand so much in asking me to do Gotham. It's been encouraging actually this past Christmas to sit with family members who say, wow, I can really see that Gotham actually was a pivotal point in your life and there has been so much personal change.